A father and son share a moment of connection over the risk of theft. The lessons the father has taught him over many years are passed down as the boy matures, and the father feels a duty to protect his son. As their theft is hidden, so is their relationship, their humanity, so it must be, lest society pull them apart. Few filmographers have a single question in mind when choosing to begin their career, one that they hope to eventually answer through their films. Hirokazu Koreda, now considered one of Japan's most prolific uh, independent directors, has had one question lead to another and another for over 25 years that is seen in almost every single one of his works. Koreda uh, began where most would. Traditional family ideals pushed and stretched to their limits. Maburoshi no Hikari, Koreda's first feature work, translates best to a trick of the light. At the beginning of his career, he chooses to highlight and explore the effects of familiar relationships through their change and absence. How can a wife react to the death of her love in the face of motherhood? How can an individual be responsible for others' emotions? He continues this conversation from the perspective of a child in Nobody Knows, as a boy must react to an absent mother in the face of brotherhood, caring for his siblings or taking after his missing parents. Even his work's not focused on a single family, such as his work Afterlife. As a group of deceased souls must choose a single memory to live on in forever. As each soul begins the catharsis, they each come to a realization that even early in his career, Koreda himself was playing with. It is not the emotions of the individual that make our life, but the relationships and love with and from others that, at life's end, matter most. How does an individual's reaction to loss, whether it be their own or their families, hold such strength to those around them? These explorations revealed a deeper meaning behind his characters' connections. It was, of course, not just their biological relation that made them love each other, but the relationships that formed from respect, experience, maturity, change, and love. And so after many of his films exploring the loss, grief, and gain of more traditional families, a new question began to arise that he must now know to be able to answer the first. At first, Coretta played with the ideas of contrasting blood to meaningful relationships in Like Father, Like Son where a father realizes his biological son and the one he's raised for the last eight years were switched at birth. And so his love for his adoptive son against the love the other family holds for his biological son is tested. But soon, even an inkling of traditional families was too simple for Koreda. Families needed to be contrasted with staples of society to prove their connections could overcome even societal ideas of family figures, to represent the importance of relationships on the individual, and yet the destruction of relationships by the societal whole. Koreda began to realize... <laughs> His 2018 masterpiece, Shoplifters, begins with a father and a son, aptly following the title of the film. As the boy looks excitedly to his father, using the techniques he's learned and practiced, his father looks on proudly, assisting him in the theft. Still worried, but proud. The excitement of the risk brings them closer, and the accomplishment of supporting those they love brings them all together. But in a way, a traditional family could never understand, Coretta argues. This risk is not of losing money or being caught by a store or the police, but instead they risk each other, the entire family itself. They are a group of drifters, all only related by their bond for each other. This is further tested when they kidnap a little girl, abused by her parents, and welcome her into their home of homeless misfits.
Each member of the family seeks community and love from one another, letting their individualism drift away consciously, a decision that Coreta argues a traditional family would take for granted. The idea of conscious acceptance calls into question traditional families' ability to truly accept each other on a similar level of mutual respect, a new exploration Coreta is keen to explore through the character of Shota. Despite attacking the innate feelings of the individual and the societal feelings of family, Coreta still chooses to prove that the conscious decisions of love can overpower both. Shota chooses to sacrifice himself to save Yuri in a show of brotherly love. Coreta argues even a child in the face of sacrifice can make the decisions necessary of a loved one, biological or not. It's not until the family is taken from him that Shota first starts to see the outside world and realize the honesty of the relationship he had with his family. So in recent years, Coretta has further explored how society reacts to relationships outside of traditional families and the purpose and reasons behind their strength. With his first Korean film, Brokers, he expands this relationship to even be one-sided, again pushing human relationships and their ability to express and receive love to its limits with babies. The one beings we unconditionally love without the dually consensual decision he portrayed in Choplifters. Brokers follows a dry cleaner who sells babies in his free time, babies whose mothers couldn't care for them. He hopes to find them better families, but as his greed and true intentions are tested against a mother's love for a child, it begins to reveal that even a wordless, biologically differing being of such infancy that it can only express one emotion is still capable of love. And so Correa brings found family to its final test. Why can you love a baby that isn't yours? Instead of focusing now on the conscious decision of a found family, he's begun to flip the question on its head. How can you love something that is only biological? But behind this film's question arises a deeper one, yet another transition into what may be his final act or question as a filmmaker. With his newest film, Monster, Coretta has gingerly stepped into queer filmmaking, bringing his message of relationships and their connections to our humanity along with him. A natural transition from families to how our relationships make us human, and therefore to be human must mean to have relationships. And yet, how can our relationships that define us be defined by others? In his 2023 work Monster, Coretta has begun his long journey into the world of love, finally stepping outside the boundaries of just family in search of the true meaning and definition beyond human relationships, what can tear us away from the individual. But this question has just begun. From his explorations of the individual and how their relationships can pull them from desperation, down from happiness, up from death, or into the light, Coretta once again builds his filmography around the questions of family, relationships, and human connections. The only question left for us, his audience, to ask, is there an answer? え、